What's good, people? It's the next podcast, Life Marks Arcade for Television. And is the space where we uh, honor the up and coming, but if you've already established and you're already onto a winner, <laughs> virtuoso, creative starburst, more prominently emceeing, but uh, very much in the production, the writing, and all facets of creative output. The new project, Drum Warrior, and me being a fan of the drums myself, we had to get him in. Apex <laughs> Zero, how are you, my brother? I'm good, my brother, man. Thanks for having me here, bro. And yeah. What an intro for you. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'll never let down, let down the intro. <laughs> What's going on? How are you? I'm good, bro. I'm good, yeah. I'm, we're deep in um, production and promotion mode at the same time, so it's a bit headspace in a couple of different places, but yeah, mm. it's good. How's your day-to-day, creatively? Um, it changes in seasons, do you know what I mean? So, like, I kind of move through these areas of, like, a, a lot of creation, so a lot of writing getting stuff ready, um, shooting the films, writing what we need to get done, recording what we need to get done. Mm. Um, and then I feel like when those seasons are, are done, we move into how we're going to now present this. Mm. You know what I mean? And it's, it's, still, it's still beautifully creative, but it's, it's very much like getting people in the right space, mm. getting the rehearsals done. Um, and that's what I'm in at the moment. So like a good 12 hour day of <laughs> mm. waking up, organizing, Get into the get into uh, do the rehearsals. I had to take my my daughter to a hospital appointment this morning, uh, so I think I went to bed about three. <laughs> up, get her there, get here, and we're going to be rehearsing tonight. Do you know what I mean? Wow. So it's a it's a it's a lot, but like I said, I, I love it, bro. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. it's it's you know you just got to make sure you don't um. Uh, what's the what's 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 the right word? Make sure you get enough sleep. Put <laughs> yes. it that way. You yes. know that one, when you uh, can. Lesser for all of us. <laughs> um, when you compartmentalize those processes, because I think a lot of people. I think that it's a sticking point for them, but also it's maybe it's the anxiety of the unknown outcome. Mm. When you're in a, the studio mode, there's a huge creative space yeah. and a lot of play. It's like serious play. Mm. But when you, uh, when all of a sudden you're faced with that next phase, mm. incrementally the the fun and the play slowly removes itself mm. to a more serious, un, mm. uncharted direction of course for a lot of people that are creative right yeah. how do you process that it's interesting because um i feel the way i make music in particular i don't think i would describe it as play <laughs> um it's it's i thought it's i thought it's very serious responsibility um for the craft, do you know what I mean? And, mm. it's, and it's, it's, it's creative, it's making, and I guess it, you know, it, it could be described as play in the sense that you're, you're taking things creatively you know, out of the universe and, and putting them together to mm-hmm. make something, right? And it is, and it's, it's beautiful and it's wonderful and it can be very fun. Um, but anyone who's heard my music, a, a lot of the time is, you know, the message is very important, do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And it's we're, we're you know, I'm, I'm here to, to honor my ancestors and to hold up codes and ways of being, uh, continuing, uh, to to make progress and to build bridges and to to fight the fight that we're in, mm. do you know what I mean? And so I, I don't I don't take that lightly, do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And so in many ways, kind of creating whatever it is we're creating initially, I take very seriously. That thing, that narrowing that you're talking about, becomes about yeah, we've got to make sure we pull this event off. We've got to make sure there's people there. We've got to make sure that it's all done properly. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's something for me in coming into those rehearsals and coming into those spaces with the amazing movement directors that we've got, with these drummers, all these people who do things that I can't do. Mm -hmm. And there's something more fun in that where I get to be this spectator of these incredible people who do what they do. Mm. But then we also get to have an amazing conversation about how we're going to incorporate Mm. this and how we're going to do that. And that to me at the moment is the most fun creative thing Mm. whilst that message is always in everyone's consciousness. And I think we're finding this, that, you know, it, it comes down to me having just incredible people at every level mm. in this family that we have and, we, and we're cultivating who have this brilliant ability to be able to handle what they're handling. But they also they also take that responsibility and they know that it's a, it's a collaborative effort. You mm-hmm. know I mean? People, people throw, away that, uh, throw around that word collaboration mm-hmm. so much. But when you're in the throes of a rehearsal with, you know, six, seven, eight drummers and musicians, three incredible movers, a visual effects designer, and we're all in there, all trying to figure out how we can best mm. do this. There's moments that I just stop and I look around and everyone's doing what they're doing. And I'm like, 
this is a, this is a blessing and an honor. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's, it, that's fun. That's beautiful. You that's know? amazing. Conduit. Yeah. Exactly. Conduit for the cause. Like yeah. you got the mission brief. Everyone's <laughs> up to up to speed. Yeah. It's certainly worth waking up in the morning for, isn't it? It really is. It really is. But regardless of how much sleep you've got, you know what I mean. And I said, like, you know, I've I've been in the, I've been in the trenches of this thing where you, you know, I'll be out, shelling down a, drum and bass set somewhere in the world, knowing I've got to go up and mm -hmm. whatever teach a class or or, or stack shelves. It's that Superman the, and Clark Kent thing. <laughs> it is, brother. And and do you know what I mean? Them times there, or even just you know what I mean by being up. I used to spend I used to spend hours just making beats or just refining something, and I've been you know I have got that hyper focus thing, so I'll, mm -hmm. I'll look around and it's like fuck, it's daylight, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I like, shit, I gotta go to work, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And just them spaces, doing something you have to do for money and survival is is hard, yeah. do you know what I mean? Waking up and getting to do this kind of stuff, even though it's you know high level difficult work, do mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But it's what I've I've spent my whole life trying to get into a position to be able to do this, do you know what I mean? So, you know, it's not lost on me yeah. that, I, that I get to do this, do you know what I mean? And so, it's, yeah, it's, it's wonderful, really. That's amazing and, a, and a, a great point to highlight on. Obviously, everyone's got to live and there is this romantic idea that, you know, you elevate naturally. But <laughs> there's also this idea that if you're on the ground, you're speaking for the people, you're taking influence and information from the right, the correct sources. And you're, again, playing the conduit. Mm. Not a lot of people can do that once you get to a certain height. And I think it's really important that that is maintained, particularly in mm. the genre of hip hop. Mm. What's your thoughts on that? It's a great point, Marv. Um, it's, 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 it's funny because a lot of people do do that though, don't they? Do you know what I mean? It's like, you know, we're, we're in your space, it's brilliant space that you've got here. And every person you've got on the wall, every person who's taken the picture of the people you've got on the mm. wall, every piece of paint, people who made the paint, mm -hmm. people who made the can for the paint, do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? They're all doing that to some degree, do you yeah, know what I mean? Right, Everyone yeah. is, and so the, 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 the amount of people who don't do that mm. is, low, is, is, yeah. is more, yeah, but vastly, there's, there's, yeah. there's loads who do, do you know what yeah. I mean? And so it's like, for me, finding the, the creativity in, in everything is is a part of that. And, you know, I, I, it's just taken me, it's taken me a long time to understand that this is what I'm here to do. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And so if I know that this is now what I'm here to do, all the other stuff, all the training I've been through, all the failures and the the hiccups and the and the setbacks and the, and the, and the blood, sweat and tears and the pain mm -hmm. and the deaths and whatever else has happened on the way to get mm -hmm. to this, it's all the training to be able to be like, right, well, if I can handle them things, mm. I can handle this. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And it's, 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 you know, I'm sure you have it as well. There'll be some moments, especially leading up to an event, when you get them panics are like, you know, are we gonna, is it gonna come off? Is it gonna, and you know, there's this balance of, of having, of keeping the faith mm. and knowing it's gonna happen, mm. but it ain't gonna happen if you just say it's gonna happen, right? You have to adjust where you have to adjust. Mm. You have to, um, consult your people then like you know my brother fusion my sister rishma they've been vital in keeping me on track my mm -hmm. sis pemba like th th if i have one of them moments i know i can also call them people and be like yo what are we not doing right mm -hmm. and that's i think to me that's one of the greatest gifts is is the people around you you cultivate a set of people around you and i and i'd like to think i'm it for them mm -hmm. if they need something they just got a holler mm -hmm. and if i can help i will help do you mm -hmm. know what i mean and so it's like yeah it's it's taking it seriously, it's knowing the responsibility that you have, it's enjoying it. Mm. It's, it's, I have a way of seeing the world that's been, again, cultivated over a long time of, of trying to be grateful, as grateful as I can in any situation, mm. do you know what I mean? And so that gets tested when people die or when mm. people are sick and you have mm. to try and push through these moments, that's when it really gets tested. But when you're in them moments, you're having that panic, you don't know quite what's going on. Um, that's also when you need to know. No, it's gonna, it's gonna be that. But I'm, I'm also a huge believer that, like, or rather, I know that it ain't just gonna happen by itself. Mm -hmm. You have to be, as much as I, f I know that I am a conduit. Mm -hmm. That this is, this is the spirit coming through me, coming through us to make this thing together. I have to be active, otherwise, it will go and go somewhere go else, somewhere and else, go yeah. be someone else's. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? And so, if I, if I, to take that seriously, to honor that, mm -hmm. 
I've got to do everything I can to be able to, to make it. Like, I, I'm the one who's been chosen to bring drummer, drummer warrior, storyteller into mm. this world. I've got to do it justice. So it's a live experience. Mm -hmm. It's music. It's dance. Mm -hmm. And it's, you're out doing it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so it started off as, I come back from Beijing. I lived in Beijing for a few years. Um, and come back being like, right, I want to I wanna express all this inspiration I've mm. had, you know. Um, and it wasn't just Beijing, I was around, I, I, I traveled the world um, from that base. And um, I was like, right, I'll do a couple of EPs, <laughs> get this thing, hollowed at Parky, big up Michael Parkinson, yeah, got it, Parkinson. yeah, man. Big up Fusion as well. Yes, brother, all day. Um, and got some beats. And, you know, I think I was just in a space where, um, it just kept growing, bruv. Do you know what I mean? We did this thing, big up my brother, um, Distortion Plus. We recorded the, you know, my brother Al Lawson in the studio, brought in amazing people like Logic and Are You One Fam and Asata nice. Sheriff, you know what I mean? So the, the lineup we have on there is incredible. Um, and the thing just kept growing. And then we, when it got to the point, um, we wanted to start making visuals. Um, it, it just kept growing. I mean, and, you know, we, we started shooting the film, managed to get the funding in for the film through the film started making these artworks and I was like, you know what, this is, this is, this is, this is something else. Do you know mm. what I mean? Like I have, a, I have a certain set of skills. Again, part of that training was, I learned how to shoot film. I learned how to, to make beats. I learned how to produce. I learned how to, you know, organize events and things like this. And so bringing all these things together and then there's a bunch of things I can't do. And that's where you need the fusions and that's you need the Dembers bring, and the Musas yeah. and the dancers and the visual effects people. And, you know, they, I've also become better at, um, articulating an idea, mm. do you know what I mean? So people are seeing what we're doing, they want to be involved, but then also taking it seriously in the sense of like, being, ab uh, being able to pay people. Begin mm -hmm. Being in a you know, it's, it's, it's all good as working on this level, but I need to make sure they can go home mm -hmm. and be like, yeah, we can look after our family. Do you know what I mean? So finding the means to do that. Um, and yeah, just getting into that space where it, it just became this thing that it's got a life force of its own. You know what I mean? So I've, I've just started calling it a living album. You it's know? an organization. It, it is, it really is, brother. And it's a, it's, a, it's a family, do you know what I mean? Like wow. the people that they, they, they care, they care about this. And it's like, it's, it's, you know, there's a whole thing of like, you can't expect people to care about your ideas mm. or your art more than you do. And I think that is a legitimate thing. They've got their own mm. drummer warrior storytellers, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? But this thing is, um, we have the music, which is also being updated. Like when we did the first uh, theater show of this, was when I first met Musa Dembele, Coraleco uh, band is, is his band. Um, so Coraleco Musa is how he goes by now. Um, came through with his Cora and me and him just sat down, he played it. I started spitting bars over it. I was like, bruv, this is now a track on the album and literally took the lyrics <laughs> off one, put it in. And that was the first time that wow. was performed before it was even recorded, wow. you know what I mean? And so it's like, I'm willing to do things like that. Fresh out the album. Literally <laughs> straight. And now that is, you know, you know, and so things like that, We've, we had an intro um, Poetica and Guy Kelton Jones wrote these amazing spoken word pieces for that for that show. That's now the intro to the recorded album. Wow. Do you know what I mean? And so the thing's constantly growing, constantly changing. More videos, more film, more artworks being made. And so every time we install it somewhere else, it's different. Do you know what I mean? And so so sick. Yeah. So the 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 the, the mission is to be like how. Not even how far can we take it? How. What kind of life is this? is Drummer Warrior Storyteller gonna live? Mm. You know what I mean? And what does it need for us to be able to keep feeding it? Do you know what I mean? And it will choose when it's done. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's bigger than me. Do you know what I mean? And so we ended up at Earth. Uh, the people at Earth have been wonderful. They brought us in, you know, Oro and the team down there. Um, my brother, Matt Lewis, Dr. Matt Lewis linked us up um, and they've given us the space. Um, and you know, their, their space is so beautiful. The sound system is state of the art. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so yeah. for us to, my brother Tile is taking care of the sound in there. My brother um, Dan um, is taking care of the visuals. My brother Joey as well is on animation. So we're going to wow. bring all these things in. And everyone who came to the show we did at Richmond a couple of years ago, there'll be elements that are similar, but it's also going to be this whole new experience. Do you wow. know what I mean? And so every time we do it, and this is by far the biggest space we're going to do it in. So wow. the, the possibilities are limitless. So that's the future. It is, man. It is. <laughs> What good reason to get up there? <laughs> Should we get some jamming going? Let's, Let's go do it, brother. Do it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you for having the, the, the space to talk about this, oh, bro. My, oh, my, appreciate my it. Apex Zero, drummer warrior. Salute. You create your own story as well, all right? <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Next podcast. Easy. Easy.